Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies are looking into what led to a fight at a high school basketball game. Investigators say it involved parents, students and players from Brainerd and Austin East from Knoxville. A Brainerd student had to be taken to the hospital. Channel 3's Casey Freeman joined us live in the studio and she spoke with someone who was at the game. Casey. Cameron, several community members told me they are disappointed by the fight from last night. I spoke with someone who was at the game supporting her sister who played earlier. Like it was the last few seconds of the quarter and uh, both players from Austin East and Brainerd kind of died for the ball. And then after that, you heard them yelling at each other. Naila Little John was in attendance of the Austin East and Brainerd game when this brawl broke out. Little John says the fight happened during the boys game just before halftime. Both benches started fighting in the whole gym, erupted in a fight. And it moved from under the go to kind of the stairs. Little John says tensions between these teams rose as the game progressed. The refs, they were, they were calling fouls and then they weren't calling fouls. And it was like really for both sides, so it was just frustration. There were dozens of people involved in this fight, including players, students, even parents. Many community members posted their feelings about the brawl on Facebook. One comment says it's sad that any good at Brainerd High is overshadowed by the ignorance of a few. Another comment caused this animalistic behavior and both teams should have their season ended. Little John says many people agree. People have talked about maybe it's just not a good idea anymore. Little John says while she does not excuse this behavior, she can't understand where these emotions are coming from. I think it was two teams that love basketball. They were frustrated and that's what the result of the fight was, frustration. Dr. Zach Brown, the interim principal at Brainerd, released a statement saying we expect both teams and fans to display sportsmanship on and off the court. The student's injuries are not known at this time. Deputies say charges may be pending based on the outcome of the investigation. You can see the full statement from the interim principal on our website, WRCBTV.com. Live in the studio, Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.